Wiltor and Pranu up front then for Arsenal. Two youngsters in the firing line for Manchester United, Danny Webber and Jimmy Davis. This is Grimondi, who did play yesterday. So did Van Bronckhorst, of course, he's in at left back. Wiltor was on as a sub during the game. Here's Stefanos, the Latvian international. Edu. Not too much has been seen of him really. He's had injury problems since he came from Corinthians, his club in Brazil. Will Torn, with some good movement up front. Here's Woolwalk. He's got a central defensive role for Manchester United, one of their more experienced players, you could say. This is Tavarolides. You've seen him a bit, I think, David, haven't you? I saw him in a game at uh, London Colony, Arsenal's training ground. He looked very, very competent, very calm on the ball. Awesome. It's Jordic. I know Alex Ferguson is pretty excited about his prospects. He was set fabric there by the challenge from Ray Parler. He clearly is taking his job as captain not pretty seriously. Well, George, it's had a lovely little skirmish there with Pennant to regain possession of that ball, and then Parler came across and, uh, and fouled him late. George came from a Swedish club, and he is a serve by Berth. Rather than the right gigs mold with his style of play. With Phil Neville, but he has failed to deliver. Good opportunity then for Manchester United. Super opportunity. Davis and Weber at the near post, at the back post. York had made grounds from midfield, but it was a fabulous little ball by Jordic that played the ball into Neville's stride. In the head of Wiltor, that cuts Edu. That was Jordic. Trying to use Weber's pace. Covered by Van Bronckhurst. He's been doing well in the reserves, I'm told, Danny Webber. Got a hat trick against Newcastle earlier in the season. Well, given away then carelessly by Stewart, it's Will Torn. Away from O'Shea, still that Will Torn, bearing down on goal, and the block in the end denied him. Some important defending there by Neville. Yes, yeah, important defending by Neville, but. Rather weak defending by his colleagues there. So two dummies on the way on that run. We'll call. There's the first one, and that was O'Shea. Then fortunately Neville blocked. Stefan has come up from the back. Almost made contact with York. And then swung well wide from our friend from Greece, Tabarolides. Which was easy enough for me to say. Yes, evidently he impressed uh, Arsenal in a international under-21 game where they had a scout present, and then they saw him play for his club side, Salonika. Arsene Wenger, of course, not a, a miss to bringing quite a few foreign players over to Arsenal. He's very good at handling them. Pamela Reed is. Rather tight clearance, though. Respect to Weber, showing his baffling qualities, but it's Grimaldi now, advancing for Arsenal to Canu. Wiltor ahead of him, he's outside here. Wiltor is through! Fine play by Grimondi, skipping past several tackles. I think that he was possibly just played on side, on this right-hand side. I think it was Roach. But once he was away, he was always going to place that ball with his left foot behind the goalkeeper. Yeah, he did well to keep his feet, then Will Torn. It's a blistering pace by him, the flag stayed down. As the United defenders looked across the line now. Well... I don't think Wiltord was offside, and I think it was Canu trying to get onside. Freddie Jungberg with his latest hairstyle. Goodness me. You tried that one, David? Well, it looks like a pop group to me, isn't it? Doesn't make him go any slower, Freddie Jungberg, you know, that hairstyle, I think. 
most of the hairstyles in the Arsenal team there. They seem to be pretty quick, those with strange hairstyles. Was originally to Canu. It's not done this time, though. The tenacity of Stewart onto Dwight York now. That was very nearly into the path. Jimmy Davis. A oh, lovely little run of Davis. He floated off the back of Stepanov there for York's ball. Love to see York get on the ball. He's got that trickery and that poise that can brighten the game up. I have to say, I'm very impressed with the crowd here tonight. It's a, it's a full house, we can't see an empty seat. And it's quite incredible, really, because they all had a... Let's see what uh, Davis can do. He's got Weber in the middle, the Chapek's arriving as well. And Jordic! It was such a good chance, fashion for him there. Arsenal in some disarray at the back, they were really opened up. And to Wright's relief, it flew wide of the post. Well, if I was in, I won't worry too much. It was a great opportunity. What a good position he got himself into. Davis's ball, nicely pulled back. Should have scored. No one can deny that. Stewart stretching. And it's Grimondi breaking now. Options right and left, mainly down the right. Will Tor. He made himself available. Cano's up top. Here is Cano. Always a threat. The crowd on their feet behind the goal. It was a risky old pick pass there by Woolwalk, but almost put his keeper under some pressure. Yeah, a bit of table football there just to get the crowd going. But again, beginning to open up nicely. Here's Weber. No offside. He was clean through. Second chance in a couple of minutes. Bob Wilson may be pleased. It was a good block. Stewart. Now for Roach. Cavalry is away. Chadwick. United are beginning to impose themselves now. Stewart seeing a lot of the ball in midfield. This is Roach. They've got four up here, United, including Dwight York. Relishing this opportunity back on senior duty, Dwight York. But here was Weber's chance. Uh, Stepanov's played on onside. It was a lovely ball by Djordic. And if could have just got sideways on Weber and probably dragged the ball past right. We saw just now Thierry Henry. No part for him then this evening. Parler. Arsenal is driving force through the midfield. It's a storming run here by Parler. Will Tor. Pennant had cut inside. This is Kanu. And then Edu! A really good try, too. Not an easy shot to take. It was a nice knockback from Kanu. And it was just behind Adu, but there you see he had to lean back when the ball comes, cleverly held. It was a difficult shot to take, and he kept it down well. And he just steers it wide. Not far away from his first goal for Arsenal. Careless with his distribution, Grimondi working hard to steer it off to Wiltor. And now Canu, oh, the keeper's a long way out here, and that's a penalty. Carroll has brought him down. And from my angle here, he was spot on then by Riley. I just wonder why Carroll had to come, he was going wide of the goal. All of a sudden, Carroll appears from nowhere. I think Canu just got caught, didn't he, with his ankle by the goalkeeper. No, a defender was going for the ball with Carnu. Did Carroll have to come? I don't think so. An error of judgment, surely, then, from the Irish goalkeeper. And Sylvan Wiltor has the chance now to doubles Arsenal, double Arsenal's advantage and score his second of the evening. Well, can Carroll redeem himself? Very nearly. It was unlucky. in by Will Tour. Vegas three very much in control now. Pure power, just underneath Carroll. Very straight. I think a little bit fortunate to score. Carroll will be 
disappointed. Will Thor will be happy. Alex will be thinking. <laughs> Davis, Djordic calling far side. Davis had seen him too. Here's Djordic. Weber's in the middle. And a clumsy clearance by Stepanov. It was straight at Grant Bronkhorst. Arsenal getting themselves into a muddle again. Davis. And he hasn't punished them. Edu on the counter right here to Kanu. And this time Wiltor is offside. No hat trick for him, not yet anyway. But he is a real threat with his pace. That was a clever angle ball, actually. And I think that uh, Roach, he raised his hand in hope. And in the end, he got satisfaction. Shadwick now. Djordic to his left. Typical Maisy run here by Chadwick. Now Djordic. And Weber stretching. It was just too heavy for him. But only just. Bit of a late tackle from Stepanov. Yeah, he's miscalculated there. Yeah, he's not finding that easy, uh, Stepanov, to contain the two bright front players. But once again, crossed by Djordic, just a little bit too strong after good play by Chadwick. If they can get them on the ball, they've still got a chance of getting back in this game. Djordic bending it in. All right made the decision to come for it. And he's escaped. Well, he who hesitates is lost, and he certainly didn't hesitate. He went all the way, and uh, York just got up early and high. And Wright didn't get there. Back comes York. Losing out though to Pennant. Now Parler and Wiltor. Good football here from Arsenal. Wiltor again is onside. That's the hat trick. Terrific front running from Sylvan Wiltor. Arsenal take a 3 0 lead. Oh, that's quality stuff for Arthur Frenchman. I think it was Parler that played that ball once again. A tight decision. Carroll come a little bit late. He had clear control and he's just nicked it over. There's Parler's ball. Eye on the ball. And the deftest of flicks. And now United really have a mountain. It was always going to be difficult. There's that little touch. Carroll in no man's land. Coming late. Ball trickles over the line. And the ground explodes. Really sharp finishing that from Will Tor. He was onside. I think it might have been Neville playing him on. Well, a super finale that to the first 45 minutes for the home team. They have been the more dangerous side, and certainly this man has been in lethal form. Three goals from Wiltor. United came back briefly for a spell, but not for long. This was the first for Wiltor, tucked away as the flag stayed down, beating the offside trap. And then Kanu tumbled by Carroll, who uh, came rushing out rather needlessly. And Wiltor thumping it in, a little unlucky then. Roy Carroll, as it spun off him into the other corner. But then Wiltor seeing a fabulous first half for him by clipping in number three. So Wiltor and his Arsenal team, very handily placed now to clinch a place in the next round. 3 0, they lead at half time. John Halls, wearing number 32, 19 years old. He's coming on in place of Van Bronckhorst for Arsenal and a change in goal for United. Lyman van der Hau coming in place of Roy Carroll. Let's see what Alex thought of the first half with Gary. Yeah, what did you think of the first half, Alex? Well, I thought um, quite an entertaining game and the young lads have done very well. I think it's a bit unfortunate, the goals. I mean, to me, they looked offside, the first and third goals. Penalty kick, I'm not sure about. I would have to see that again. Well, we're pretty sure it's a penalty. I'm not actually. I thought no. he. I, I thought. He, I thought Canu was looking for that. Yeah, but it. But it, I mean, they're young lads, and they, you need good officials for these games. You know, and a bit disappointing officials. The youngsters are going very well, though. They, they're doing great. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. And it's a good, entertaining game. Arsenal have put a lot of work into it, and their lads are holding their head up well. Good. Well, just underway. So oh, well. let's rejoin our commentary Thank you. team. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Yes, we've started, Alex. He's gone off to found his seat now. <laughs> Didn't seem uh, 
do concern but obviously it's not top of his priorities David but all the same uh, what do you think he, he kind of drawn from this first half in terms of the commitment of his team for a start. Well, he suggested that they'd been bright, and I would agree with that. He also suggested you need strong officials. I didn't think that was a, a big um, uh, talking point in, in the first period. I thought Barber and his two assistants, maybe he was talking about the couple of marginals where goals came from offside decisions, but um, I don't know what game Gary's watching, but um, maybe... You know, Gary saw something in the penalty that we didn't see. But, um, no, I think that uh, the most important thing uh, for United's point of view is they now really show what they're made of and, and resist Arsenal, particularly if Arsenal relax and surge forward, because there's no question about it. Arsenal are a stronger side, but there's a lot of good footballers in this uh, young United team, a lot of good footballers. Well, that was a really well-timed intervention then by Tavro Laridis, a young Greek defender. He certainly seemed unfazed by it all in the first half. It is Weber now trying to force his way through. Stefano standing firm. Canu. I certainly thought it was a penalty when he went to ground after colliding with Roy Carroll. That was Halls now to Wiltor. Halls from nearby Islington. This is Canu. Who comes from a bit further away? Arsenal have forced the corner here off Djordic. Good defending. Djordic very much an attacking uh, wide player, but there showing the responsibility to come back to see the corner. Stepanovs among those in the middle. And well claimed by the veteran Van der Hau. The Dutchman who's come on then for the second half in place of Carroll. Weber and is in some discomfort. I think he's caught him on the shoulder with his boot. Just as he fell there, rather awkward. Oh, Tavalaridis. Here's Djuric with a free kick. Tavalaridis still off the field, receiving attention. Wiltor. Well, that was neatly played. Now, Palmer's got storming forward, so was Edu with a wonderful touch. Wiltor, is this number four for him? Great stop by Van der Hal, but what an incisive piece of counter-attacking then by Arsenal. Yeah, super play, it was Pennant who played the diagonal ball, a gorgeous touch, and then Wiltor cutting across, taking the ball so well, and fortunately for United, Van der Hal shaping up better than his colleague in the first half, who I thought was a little bit sketchy in his general goalkeeping, Roy Carroll. But that was a fine save. And a real touch of Brazilian flair from Edu to set up the chance. Here he is again now. Dwight York back on defensive duty. Joric. Good interception there by Lushny, who'd come across. Grimondi. The game will really open up, I'm sure, in the second half. This is Pennant now looking for a run on goal. Still Pennant. The crowd urging him on, but he couldn't find the finish to match the run. Will Tor. A very neat spin then. I tell you what, David, he's in the mood tonight. Well, he's certainly going to get the prize for the most goal attempts. I think he'll probably get the prize for the most on target, too. Now Neville. Davis on to Neville again. This is promising for United. And that's hat ball by Halls. scoring chance might develop from so is no option really if he's refereeing to the letter of the law you know it's handball in a defensive position he's stopping across that's a yellow card hard to get out of the way though 
Well, if the referee thought that he couldn't get out of the way, he wouldn't have given the free kick. Absolutely. Flipped over by Stewart. It's Chadwick now to fire it back in. But without any real conviction. Cutting edge, are they in front of goal? No, they haven't got the power. It's, it's purely power. I mean, they've got, they're, they're a good footballing team, but when that ball comes into the box, there, you know, Arsenal are heavy favourites to clear the ball. There's just not enough muscle amongst the United group that are out here tonight. A long way back from here for Manchester United, especially when they give it away that cheaply. It's Pennant. You just sense he's going to be a real crowd favourite at Highbury. Outmaneuvered on this occasion by Stewart. With his aggression, it's left Pennant in some distress too. Now Chadwick's gone down. On goes Stewart again. He has caught the eye for Manchester United. Jordich. Stewart in pursuit. Has he tripped then? Mike Riley says no. Well, I don't think he's got the now Stewart to uh, to fall to cheat. There's a problem at the other end. Pennant's down. There's a bit of a kerfuffle in the box there, which Mr. Riley's going to sort out. Uh, Davis fell. I don't think he dived. Riley certainly thought that he didn't dive. It was a bit of a stumble. Here's Davis. Grimondi left his leg trailing. It's funny, Sir Alex was complaining at half time about the, the referee. Now the Arsenal players are complaining about the referee. They feel they're getting punished for tackles that they feel aren't that severe. Is there a match when players don't complain about the referee? Djuric is lining this one up, alongside Dwight York and Stewart in attendance as well. It will be the left peg of Djuric, but it was deflected onto the crossbar. Oh, right was beaten there. And the frame of the goal came to his rescue. I wondered if he touched that onto the, the bar. No, got a deflection. They do now, on the counter charge, but not for long. Roach had got back. Charlie George. Charlie George, yeah, he got an important goal once, didn't he? Just a little bit. <laughs> FA Cup final winner for the Arsenal. Caro. Pennant had shown for him, here is Pennant now. Caro, oh, he's onside. And it was agonisingly wide from Cano. Well, it was terribly wasteful after some wonderful early play by Cano. I mean, he knows exactly where he is, he has a look up. Was he trying to chip to Will Todd? I wonder if um, Alex will make a move soon to maybe remove one of the front players. It's very, It's been very difficult for them, I think they've both done well this evening, but I think uh, the physical effort of playing against more senior players and and trying to do the closing down is bound to take its toll. Who will talk might be in here against Woolworth. Oh, Mike Riley had a good look, hard look and then pointed to the spot. He was in a terrible tackle, Woolworth. Just felt the pace and the power of Wiltor too hard to contain. It was clumsy, David. Well, he certainly didn't pull him by his hair, but he tried to grab his hair. And I think he put his hand on his head and forced him to ground. Uh, he struggled a little bit tonight, Will Walk, not easy against the pace of uh, Will Tord. There you see him leaning on his nose, he's going to be second, and there he gives him a little tug, and you, you can't get away with that. Cadu picked up the ball, marched off towards the penalty spot, placed it down, he intends to take the kick. He didn't care what Will Tord thought about it, and that's why. It's 4-0. Is on the score sheet again. And his team surely now are coasting. Yeah, cleanly taken. Nice side of the foot. Very relaxed. Quite sure that Lenny Lawrence now sitting in the stand can leave. He knows who he's going to be playing and where he's going to be playing in the next round. Grimsby will be at Highbury for sure. Again at the back from Tavalaridis. Well, Hulls has already been shown the 
the yellow card. Jordic certainly uh, kicked out of it there. Oh, look too clever. And he is off. With a baptism for him. Well, we did wonder whether the, the booking for the hat ball was harsh. I think you were right. By the letter of the law, Mike Riley had to show him that first card. And that was a foolish challenge. Well, Vengo couldn't look unhappy about it, but what on earth was he doing there, the young man? You'd have to say that, though. Well, you can't say because it's, you know, the results. There's a, there's a clear kick, and the ball was going out of play. It was an unnecessary challenge, too. Obviously, he's going to get the sympathy of the home crowd, and possibly Arsene Wenger either wouldn't have seen it or will try and defend him. But, um, you know, Mr Riley has to referee as he sees it. Caro. Always teasing. This is Will Tor. Now Parler. Not by Grimondi, who I think is finally going to be dragged off the field in a minute. Certainly didn't want to go earlier. This is Kanu. There's going to be a party piece here. Oh, the crowd love that. Maybe not the finish. Well, the first bit wasn't bad. Well, ah. nearly changed my man of the match. Nearly changed my man of the match. This is gorgeous. The crowd loved it. Look at the faces of the crowd. They loved it. That's what the crowd's like. Here's Davis now. Three waiting in the middle, but waiting in vain. As Ricketts cuts it out. And now the decision has gone Arsenal's way. A night to remember for Sylvain Wiltor. Probably didn't think he'd be playing this evening. But he has done so to deadly effect, as the scoreline reflects. And he'll be a bit happier tonight than he was yesterday, Arsene Wenger. They have cruised through in the end by four goals to nil, a hat-trick from Sylvain Wiltour. Carnu from the penalty spot with the other goal. Just that one little spell when United gave themselves hope. But Arsenal, in truth, were the stronger team overall and have run out deserving winners.